It's your boy Drama House A Game Entertainment 216 The Movement. We move with your dick. <laughs> What's good, man? I just jumped out the bag right quick. You understand me? To holler at my girl Kiki, hard body. You understand me? I had to holler at you right quick, mommy, because I would love to clown math right now. You understand me? When I first heard about it, I said, Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to get at that nigga math. You understand me? But then I listen to your shit. I say, let me check old girl out. I just don't want to jump in on math, on no dumb shit just to be clowning that nigga. You understand me? Because this ain't nothing to really be clowning on a nigga about. So I say, okay, let me check old girl out. Boom. I go check out old girl. I say, okay. She got the um gospel music playing and shit. She feeling herself right now. You understand me? That gospel music pump you up. It give you that oomph that you need like being drunk, you understand me? So she got the gospel music and shit, you know, going and shit, and she talking about this and that and this. She ain't saying no names, but she hollering like, wait, you understand me? So, but what's crazy to me is, like, she, like, immediately acting like people supporting what she's saying. Because she like, don't, don't, if you've been raped, you're not the problem and all this type of shit. I'm like, damn, bitch, you act like we've been knowing about this shit for a long time. And you the spokesman for getting motherfucking raped, bitch. And that's not what it is. You fucking lying. You fucking lying, bitch. You lying doing the George Floyd shit, bitch. America on the uprise, black power right now, bitch, and you trying to bring a brother down, bitch. What nigga rape a bitch off a smoothie? What nigga is aggressive after a motherfucking smoothie, bitch? You fucking lying. They said that you said that the sex wasn't consensual. Then you said it was, but why he was fucking you, bitch? You yelled out, stop, and the nigga kept going. Bitch, you can't yell. You can't tell the train to motherfucking stop, bitch, when it's already going. You can't say, oh, I, I want to get off here. No, bitch, there's a destination. And math had a destination and nut. You feel me? What happened was she feeling math. Boom. She playing a little friend role shit. Like, boom. This my big brother. Everybody in the hood or everybody know she want to fuck him. Boom. Man playing it dumb. He a hood nigga. He know what's going on. He playing it dumb so he don't fuck it up or whatever. So she like, yeah, such and such, such and such. She kicking it with math time to time. They go get some smoothies or whatever. Boom. Math ain't even probably thinking he about to fuck right now. Not after no smoothies. You feel me? So boom. He take it back to the house. They laid up or whatever. She like, my stomach hurt or some shit. You know how it's be, you feel me? When they be on that, want to get close shit. So, math like, oh, for real? And she like, yeah, hold me or whatever. He holding up whatever and they talking shit or whatever. She laughing and all this little whatever, whatever, whatever. And Bosley Black happened and they, you feel me? Math got into the pussy. Now, it probably didn't go the way she thought it was going to go. <laughs> Man, I probably got the fucking the shit out the bitch. You feel me? She a little bitty bitch. Man, a big motherfucker. Man, I probably got the guns in the bitch. Bitch couldn't take the shit. She like, stop. And not just probably he fucking the shit out the bitch. The nigga mad breath smell like black and miles and bogeys. Because you know Math be blowing the bogeys in the black and miles. So while he pounding the shit out the bitch, he, the smoothie's starting to kick in. So now he feeling emotional. He's like kissing on the bitch chest. Right, so this nigga breath smelling like black and miles and bogeys. So once the smoothie start kicking in on the nigga, he start feeling emotional. So he kissing all over the bitch chest, all over her chin and her face. And she can smell that shit. That shit stink. So while he fucking the shit out the bitch, emotional off the smoothies, kissing all over her chest and her face and shit with the black and mild bogey breath, 
She can't take this shit. She like, stop, stop, get the fuck off me. Get the fuck off me. And this nigga, the smoothie kicked all the way in, so he trying to like make love to the bitch. You understand me? He pounding the bitch out, but he kissing on the bitch chest, and that's what's really turning the bitch off. That's why she pushing his head off like, Ray, get the fuck off me. You stink, you feel me? And this nigga started farting. You feel me? <laughs> This nigga started farting like off the smoothies and shit. And the nigga was just getting more emotional, emotional. Because y'all remember that nigga Mav said he shitted on the bitch before. So this rape shit coming right off some shit like that. You thinking like, what the fuck, man? What you doing? But it wasn't like that. That bitch lying. That bitch lying. You understand me? They went for smoothies. You understand me? So when you go for liquor and shit, a nigga get aggressive. But when you go for smoothies, it's a whole different type of high. You understand me? That smoothie be having you emotional. And that nigga, math was blowing bogeys and black and miles the whole time. And that smoothie kicked in. He got emotional. You understand me? He started like pressing his body up against that little skinny bitch body, kissing on her on her face, and she couldn't tolerate that smell while he was fucking the shit out of her. So it was like a bad experience for that bitch. And that's why she started screaming out motherfucking rape. And to this day, that bitch can't wear like those shoulder shirts because it's like a, a, a smidgen odor a black and mild and bogey breath on her motherfucking chest that you can smell when she walk past, even if that bitch wearing African oils. <laughs> you feel me? So I know my nigga math didn't rape that bitch. You understand me? You don't get no nigga that's like 6'3", 6'5", no smoothies, and then take him to the house. Them big niggas be emotional, man. Them big niggas be emotional, man. So I'm just telling you, Bitches, you know, for the future, don't take no big nigga out for smoothies. You better take him out for liquor because you can get a different type of, you can get that nigga you want. He might be a little aggressive, but the nigga off them motherfucking smoothies will start farting, get emotional. They want to kiss on you. They got that bad breath, and you be sitting there fucked up. You be like Kiki Hardbody, you understand me? Lying. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't get raped. You made the wrong decision. <laughs>